All right, so I want to make a video with this server before it goes. Unfortunately, I don't have much time left with it uh, because I just sold it. Uh, so I'm just going to do a hardware overview of it. It's basically a AI processing server. Uh, it's got eight NVIDIA V100s and some cool RAM powerful processors. Uh, first, I'm going to show power supplies here. The whole unit's really, really loud, and that's because of all the fans and everything. Um, and of course, these power supplies don't help either with the big fans. These power supplies will do 2,900 watts on 240 volt, and on 120 volt, they'll do uh, 1,200 watts. There's four of them in there, but the system takes about 3,000 watts max power. Uh, so it's not. So you, you can run on like two of them, though you'd really be pushing them, um, especially on 120 volt. It's also got these fan modules in here. Uh, these are kind of an interesting design because it's really just wasted space. Uh, they made some improvements on the newer uh, Supermicro AI servers. I believe the whole space back here is actually taken up by power supplies. Um, and it's better than having all that empty space. I mean, uh, of course, using all the space doesn't mean that it's any better, but it's usually more density. So here are the, I'll show the graphics cards first. So here are the graphics cards. I guess they don't look like much like graphics cards or typical graphics cards, but these are all NVIDIA V100s. They are 16 gig models. So there's a total of 128 gigs of VRAM. Um, I don't think, I might have some pictures of some benchmarks that I did, uh, but I don't have them. I can't, I, don't, I can't really do that much benchmarking anymore since I already sold it. Uh, I'm just going to show these up close here. It's, uh, it's really kind of impressive how they actually managed to use these. Since the traces are so long, I figured there'd be a, a lot of a delay and they might have some issues with the syncing of it. But of course, there's ways around that. But, you know, there might be some signal interference in a long way. I'll pull it out some more so you can see the rest of the board. see in the back here there's some more heat sinks those are probably some sort of like multiplexers and then it goes into a interplane connect in the back that's how most of these large servers are is if you've got the processing up in the front and then you've got a mid plane and then power supplies go in the back okay so this is the lower section this is all about the processing so cpus and storage and ram seen here so in the back here this is kind of weird how they did it they don't have uh, fans blowing onto heat sinks the fans are actually on the heat sinks so it's not like a and there's no air baffle either which I found kind of weird um, in here I have 768 gigs of RAM these are all 32 gig dims not super impressive of course it is still a lot but relative today it's not super impressive with the 32 gig dims each one of the processors is an E5 2699V4. Um, and now this board stock does not come with a SAS controller, but you can do RAID, it just has to be SATA. Uh, there's these SATA ports right here. Uh, I configured it so it runs with this RAID controller. Uh, it's an LSI 9361-8i. Um, and that allows me to have RAID with these drives right here. Each of these is a 600 gig hard drive. Um, and it's also got 10 gig fiber, but that's, you know, that's not super interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to be powering it up, and let's hope that none of my neighbors are taking a nap, because this is a insane amount of service. Okay, so now it's, it's in its somewhat on state. There's actually two uh, steps that you have to go through to power it up. The first one is the ILOM initiali initialization. <laughs> um, and that just spins the fans up to full speed and makes sure it's, that they're functioning properly. And there's a couple other checks to make sure it's all configured correctly. Then when you actually want to power it up, you press this button to get it to turn on. Um, I'm going to go connect a monitor to it and then we'll uh, log in. It's got Ubuntu on it right now, so go in there. 
All right, so here we are on the world's noisiest desktop. Um, I have the, uh, the Octane Bench results here. Uh, this is the, like, the only uh, benchmark software that runs on Linux. Uh, this is with all the graphics cards in. I can see the total score right there. And here are the other scores if you're interested in those. Um, and I can also run NVIDIA SMI. This here are the graphics cards right there. Um, you can see they take quite a lot of power even idle. Um, I'm sure it'd be a lot better to just turn them off when they're not being used, except Xorg is uh, using them. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video on this uh, Super Micro Server 4028 uh, TVRT, I think it is. Uh, it's a really cool system, uh, especially because there aren't that many of these systems with SXM in them. Um, this is one of the cheaper ones that you can get with S SXM. Um, and of course, it's got the V100s. It's kind of rare to get this sort of hardware, especially when you're uh, someone like me who <laughs> doesn't really have the money to shell it all the time. Um, it's a really loud system, too. So uh, that's one of the reasons as to why I'm selling it. But... When I did use it, I was using it for uh, some training some AI models, and it worked really well for those. Uh, of course, it's no A100, um, but even this, with all these, would beat, I think, three A100s. Three to four of them. It depends on the application. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.